everyone i hope you're all well and doing okay so i am going to attempt to do a vlogmas today but i'm not making any promises but if this video don't go up then you won't have known anyway but i'm gonna do my absolute best i don't want to cry again <laughs> <clears throat> See, <clears throat> sorry guys. So if you follow me over on Instagram, um, if you don't already, feel free to do so if you want to. You guys will know that um, I lost Angel, my Chihuahua, um, of ten years. She was my baby, my my entire world my absolute world she was my my reason for everything she was my reason for happiness she was my reason for love she was my reason for safety she was my reason for having a best friend always having someone to talk to to go out she motivated me to go out she loved me she loved me unconditionally and i'm so grateful for her and her love um she really did love me um we did everything together we went everywhere together um she really was my everything and i'm very 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 lost on what to do at the moment because for the past 10 years it's been all about angel and fitting my life in and around her and make sure she can call more if i've got to go somewhere she's taken care of um especially the past couple of years where she was poorly because she had um cancer and a brain tumour, a brain tumour, honestly, <sighs> she didn't have a brain tumour, she had a tumour, don't know where that come from, <laughs> sorry guys, uh, she had a, a, a tumour, um, as you know, um, and the cancer, it spread, she's had operations, uh, she, it, it's all been going on, um, but the past six seven months she's she's got quite ill with it um but she was still a little fighter a little trooper she's on medication and things as you know i'm not going to go over it again because i've already spoke of this previously i don't want to um but, <clears throat> but she the past couple of months um she'd got quite ill so uh she wasn't really doing a lot she wasn't eating a lot i could only really get to eat baby food and a few snacks just to give her some energy um and she had some snacks, some doggy snacks, and she had some um, bits and bobs. But yeah, um, she had a little doggy pusher, so she'd go out and about in that because she didn't really want to walk anywhere. Um, but the past couple of weeks, she was just, she was getting worse. She wasn't eating anything. Um, apart from the other little gingerbread biscuit, maybe. But I couldn't get her to eat anything that was enough to keep her healthy um, and happy. And, you know for energy she just wasn't eating anything um she wasn't breathing very well because the breathing was difficult for her she just got very ill basically um so yeah on the <clears throat> 3rd of december which is why i haven't been doing vlogmas um because i just haven't been able to guys honestly i've been at a complete wreck i can't even I can't explain how much of a wreck I actually have been. I can't stop crying. <laughs> just on, honestly, I'm all over the place. I just don't know what to do. I'm just so heartbroken. It's unbelievable. I'm really heartbroken. Um, I love it absolutely. Um, but yeah, on the third of December. <laughs> I had to make the decision because I obviously had chats with my vets and stuff um, and I see the same lady every time she's the one that did the previous operation as well and um, prescribes the medication and things that she was on so she knows all about Angel um, and she did ask me a few months back now to consider um, having her put to sleep um, and thinking of her needs and things if the time comes so because she felt it was it was coming the time was coming but until then, just keep her happy and comfortable and blah, 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 which I have been. Um, <clears throat> but 
it was just getting worse so I did have to consider it and on the 3rd of December long story short um that's what happened I, I took her up there um my mum came with me and uh, my brother they came in there with me um so I wasn't alone it was literally the hardest thing I've ever had to do and I thought in my in my years <laughs> 33 years I've had to make some hard decisions but honestly hand on heart that was the hardest most difficultest thing I have ever had to do um and it has it has broken me quite a bit um I'm not gonna lie and sugarcoat and say I'll be all right in a few days now I, I won't I know I won't um but I'm trying my best I'm trying my best to just get through it um but yeah I didn't just leave her in there to, to have to have it done um, I, I held her the whole time and I was talking to her and I was cuddling her and giving her kisses and stuff just making sure she knew mamas loved her because honestly I've never loved anyone or anything more in my life um, but yeah I had to do what was best for her and unfortunately what was best for me wasn't best for her so she's now in heaven um, with Harry, her brother, my mum's chihuahua <laughs> probably doing his head in and um i'm with my nan and granddad and they'll be taking care of us so that's what i'm telling myself that's what i'm hoping for um but yeah that's the angel update and i, I don't really want to talk about it anymore if i can help it guys because honestly it's very difficult it was hard for me to pick up the camera just to tell you that bit <laughs> um so I, I really don't want to keep going on about it because it's hard it's very hard and i have to keep talking about it, it just makes it all come rushing back i just i need to try and chill um but yeah just <clears throat> quickly on on the subject as well um oh, see i can't even think about what i was just gonna say now oh um she has been sent somewhere um to be cremated and um, because obviously i don't want to not be with my pooch so um i should be getting the ashes back within a week hopefully hopefully within a week so it should be by monday i'm hoping and praying because i need her with me for christmas she best be home for christmas um but yeah so i will have her home with me eventually um where she belongs um and i have got a few like uh a couple of necklaces and a ring um to put her ashes in to keep her with me um and one for my mum <laughs> um yeah so yeah that that will be that and hopefully that'll be monday um but i have got this ring until then um i don't know if you'll be able to see uh it is a chihuahua and inside it just says i love my chihuahua so yes it's on that finger but that's the finger that's closest to your heart so she's on there um it's not like it's occupied yet is it so <laughs> my baby can go there uh but yeah so i've got her with me i do take her little collar in my bag with me if i have to go out just so she can come with us because i don't like to think of her just on her own um and i have got a few photos printed out um yeah, I have got a few photos printed out and I've done a Christmas tree bauble, uh, so I'll show you those. So this is her bauble. <laughs> this was a Christmas photo, um, obviously it had the background. Um, I have actually got the, the actual photo printed out on my table, so I, I will show you in a minute. Um, but it was one that the, um, the lovely Liv, um, who groomed and cut and done all that jazz for Angel since she was two, I think. Um, it was one of the drap backdrop pictures that she takes of them at Christmas once they've been cut. So yeah, that's the little bauble there. And she was with my nan and granddad. So they're together and she's with a little push chair. And then, not sure if you'll be able to see, um, this one was one I already had on here. This is Harry, that was already there. Uh, this one of Angel I already had up here. This has been knocked because of Aurora. Um, that's Harry, uh, which was already there. This one I had done the other day. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but yeah, I had that one done. Um, and then she's got this little plaque as well. And then I've just gotten this picture here so it's quite a big one i bought her this candle as well and um, this was from home bargains sorry i'm trying not to cry here uh, this was from home bargains um it just says 
always loved, never forgotten, forever missed, especially at Christmas. So I just thought that was lovely. So I got that for her and I will light that on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day for her. Um, that was a picture I already had. <laughs> That's Harry, um, Angel's brother, my mum's chihuahua, who is now in heaven with his sister. That was Angel. This uh, this photo makes Gary laugh, to be honest, because he's like, Harry's always happy and, and she's just got a face on her. <laughs> That just sums them two up, to be honest. Um, this is a picture that's on the bauble, obviously that part, and then that's the background log. So it's a nice Christmas picture. I'm just going to pop out every Christmas for her. And then I've just done her like this little bauble. It's nothing special. It wasn't planned. It's just all put together quickly because I can't not see her face, especially over Christmas. So there is some snow in there. Um, and it's just got a little picture of her. So, yeah, um, those are just some little pictures just to have see her little face um oh and also um we've got this my mum brought me this as well and i'll put a picture in <laughs> it's just a little santa we want to get the little uh, reindeer one and put harry in there so we'll have one of each uh this is one i got done for gary as well i've got to find a home for it um because he absolutely loved us a bit as well so yeah that's the bigger picture not the littler one but yeah um so i've got those done so yeah those are the pictures and bits and bobs i have of her um just to see a little face because i can't not not see her face um so today's plan to try and give me some oomph and get me out because honestly today is the first day i've made a bit of an effort i've actually washed my hair i've put on a little bit of makeup um i've got something on my nose i think that's dry skin and now I've got a black eye. It's all going on. Hold on, let's get this skin off my nose. It's going to irritate me. <laughs> so as I was saying, um, today is the first day I've actually made a bit of effort and washed my hair and whatnot. Um, even though it's just all over the shop. I did blow dry it, but it's just a bit of a mess. Never mind. Um, I've done a bit of makeup. i um, actually showered. Uh, yeah, I've just not done or wanted to do a whole lot. Um... I haven't really gone out. I think I've been out once with my mum to get a few bits out to be done. Um, because I need some gas and electric as well, so I had to. Um, so today I'm going to try and just pull myself together a little bit. I'm not saying I'm going to forget and not be upset because I absolutely won't forget and I absolutely probably will get upset. Um, but I'm just going to try and sort myself out a little bit. Um, because honestly, I feel like absolute shit. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> I really do feel like absolute rubbish. Um, so I need to try and sort it out. So I'm going to go and meet my mum today. Um, in about half an hour, I'm going to go up to my mum's. And then we are going to be going to a little... It's like a little Christmassy craft store, gift store, wreath making place. I'm not going to be making a wreath because I, I ain't crafty like that. I, I can't do things like that. Um, I, I don't want to. <laughs> Just don't want to. Um... So yeah, we're going to be going there and have a look at the little gift stores, just something to do, just, just to get out of the house a little bit, um, go for a little walk. Uh, and I will be meeting my friend Vicky, who I haven't seen for a while. Well, I bump into her every now and then, but we haven't had a real good catch up. So I'll be going around with her as well um, and seeing her lovely little face. Um, if you don't follow her on here already, then do so. It's the Butterfly, the Butterfly Queen. Um, I'll leave her channel linked down below. Um, she is one of my greatest friends. I have been friends with her since I was at school. I can honestly probably say she is my best friend. She's the only one that I really speak well yeah the only one I do speak to from school who's an actual true friend um I love her to pieces she's lovely she's so kind-hearted um and genuine and honestly I just love the girl to bits so it'd be nice to see her and then me and mum will be popping around Vicky's hopefully um for a cup of tea and a chin wag afterwards which will be nice um and hopefully it gets dark enough so I can see her lights all outside because if you are following her on here you'll see all her Christmas lights outside um, that she's been faffing about with and fixing lights and everything else, bless her. It's not gone to plan for her but she's got it all up and working now and it looks lovely from what I've seen so I can't wait to go and see it. Um, but if I do manage to get to go and I go and see it I will video and show you because it is beautiful. Um, so fair play to her for doing that anyway. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling because this video is going to be too long and you're probably bored. Um, so I do apologise. But as I say, I don't want to keep going on about Angel. So that's, that's that now. Unless I feel I need to tell you anything, I will. But I just don't want to keep 
going on. And with all this stress, guys, honestly, with all this stress, I, got, I get um, stress lumps, but I get them in my lip. So it's kind of like a cold sore, but but not. Um, I've got, I usually get it here, which is starting to come underneath there. But you can't really see this one now, but it's there. That whole part of my lip, I don't know if you can see, it's all swollen. Uh, all there. I don't know if you can see, uh, but honestly, it's so painful. Can you see? <laughs> you can't see. You probably can, but oh, it's so painful. Um, but yeah, so I've just put some lip balm on. But I feel like it's going to get bigger before it gets better. <laughs> so when I start looking like a warty old witch on my lip, then uh, I apologise. But yeah, so I'm going to go and um, get my shoes and whatnot on and sort my bag out. Um, Aurora has been fed. She's sitting there looking all pleased with herself. <laughs> oh, she loves these blankets. She just pads them and does like a chicken dance on it. You all right, cheese? Okay. Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> she's such a weirdo. She's so loving for a cat. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm gonna go. Um, I have got a Christmas jumper on today for the first time. Um, it was just one I've had a while. Bit snug now, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit snug. Um, it just says Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it just says Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Um, <sighs> you the filthy animal, <sighs> she absolutely is. Um, she thinks she's a dog, I tell you guys, honestly. You dog, she has to lick all. <laughs> I mean. Thank you. Aren't you lovely? Thank you. I swear she thinks she's a dog. She always licks, has to lick. <laughs> Don't you? Right, anyway, look at this antenna. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and get ready. Um, and I'll catch up with you later. This video is probably going to be a long one, so I apologise. But <sighs> I haven't done one in a few days. So just think because this is one big one for all the days I've missed. Um, and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Freezing. I'm with my mother now. Got a little, little uh, look at them. It's me it? again. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you follow Vicky who was on about earlier, you would have seen this little minion popping her head in, <laughs> video bombing old Vicky there. So yeah, this was her by the way, my mother. Um, yeah, we're on our way now. It's blooming freezing. Like it. <laughs> it's gone really good. Oh, it wasn't this cold when I was coming here. But it is now, so yeah. But anyway, we're on our way up there now. I can't breathe. <laughs> and uh, Vicky's gonna meet us up there. She's already there, I think. 
So there's a little bay is old Vicky. She's already on it, so yeah. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I've got to try and get her tyre fixed today. Because she's already paid out once to have it fixed, haven't you? Yeah. And within the same day, it was already going down, so we just had to... Well, Mum did, she wouldn't let me do it because she's too stubborn. Mm -hmm. She had to just pump it up again. But she's phoned up the woman, so she's got a ringer back, so hopefully she'll get that sorted out for the weekend. Because you need it for the weekend for Pops, don't you? Yes! Because she's going to be coming down as well. Because yeah. Pops has come and my dad and my stepmom are popping over on Sunday. So that'll be nice. So I'll see Mum's going to come as well. Yeah. We need it fixed. So she needs it fixed so she can come out with us. Because knowing my dad, he's going to want some chips from the chip shop. <laughs> His favourite chip shop on the seafront, which he made my mum go down and check to see if it was open because he won't have chips anywhere else, will he? No. But neither will we. <laughs> So yeah, she uh, she went on a mad one down there to go and find it out. Pops, if you're watching this, it's open. It's open. Chips on you, Dad. Yeah. Chips on you. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, or the fields we go. We've just come we've just come out. I've got black eyes now. We've just popped come back outside. Mum's seen a Winnie the Pooh bear Teddy. Um yeah. and she grabbed this and she brought it. But who did you buy it for, Mum? You. Why did you buy it for me? She wore the Winnie the Pooh t shirt vest thing and that's saw story. it. She looked like Winnie the Pooh when she got it on. So you had to have Winnie the Pooh. So she had to buy it for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She said she's seen it, she couldn't leave it behind because it, it, it was there for it was her there to for my name on it to get you. <laughs> so she got it for Angel for me. Mm. She made me cry in front of everyone because she told she told me in front of Vicky as well. So <laughs> I was like, well, look at her boy, Winnie the Pooh. And she goes, this feels like, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. She's cute, isn't she? Got to be done. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go because everybody's just staring at me like I'm a Looney Tune, so... I'll catch Why up with you guys in a bit more. <laughs> Very fluty tunes. You heard it here first. So I've just got back from my mum's now. I'm going to end the vlog here because it's now quarter to seven. Um, but before I go... I just wanted to quickly show you something that um, my lovely friend who groomed and cut Angel for many, many years. She absolutely loved her to pieces, her and Harry. Um, I think since they were two, um, up until Angel was ten. She only came out a few weeks ago and did her groom and that here for her because it was the best for Angel to not go here, there and everywhere. Because Liv comes and picks her up. Um, grooms her and stuff and then brings her home um, and she messaged me while I was at my mum's and asked if I was at home because she had a little gift for me and some flowers and I said because I said I was at my mum's and um, she was going to leave them on the doorstep for me I said don't do that so because where I am we'll probably get pinched I explained how lovely it was and that it's very nice of her but I just don't trust people around here um, Anyway, she said she posted the gift through the door and left the flowers on the doorstep just in case. So the flowers were on the doorstep, bless her. They are lovely. What kind is that? Like, she didn't have to do that, bless her. Um, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. But then the gift is lovely. It says on the little tag, um, you left poor prints on my heart. 
and then it's got Angel's hair in there in a little jar. Look how cute is that? It's obviously where she's groomed her, she's kept some hair and stuff. And she just popped it in this little jar. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, brought me that over with some flowers and I thought that was absolutely lovely. She didn't have to do that. It was just nice, that one with my heart that did. So yeah, I just thought I'd end it on a little happier note. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go anyway and try and edit and upload this video. Sorry it's a bit mishmash and waffly and here, there and everywhere, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna go anyway, this probably won't be up till tomorrow, which will be Thursday. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Love you all bunches. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in another video.